This phone call is under scrutiny because of that whistleblower who came forward. And tonight, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi already under growing pressure to move forward with impeachment. She is now issuing an ultimatum to the Trump White House. Release the whistleblower's complaint by Thursday or face, quote, a new level of investigation. What does that now mean? Here's Mary Bruce on the Hill. If the Trump administration doesn't hand over the whistleblower complaint by Thursday, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi is now hinting at impeachment, warning they will be entering a grave new chapter of lawlessness, which will take us into a whole new stage of investigation. Now, even Democrats who have resisted calls to impeach say they may have little choice. He may force us to go down this road, and we may very well have crossed the Rubicon here. The inspector general determined the whistleblower's complaint was credible and of urgent concern. But on Twitter today, the president questioned the whistleblower's patriotism, asking, is he on our country's side? Where does he come from? For some Democrats, impeachment is long overdue. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeting, the bigger national scandal isn't the president's law-breaking behavior, it is the Democratic Party's refusal to impeach him for it. While Republican leaders largely silent. One exception, Senator Mitt Romney, tweeting, if the president asked or pressured Ukraine's president to investigate his political rival, it would be troubling in the extreme. And tonight saying the Trump administration should hand over the whistleblower complaint. And if they don't? Well, that'll be up to the House to decide how to proceed. So let's get right to Mary Bruce. She's with us live as well tonight. She's from The Hill. And Mary, all eyes have been on Speaker Pelosi when it comes to impeachment. And you've reported here she has repeatedly called for restraint, saying follow the facts. But this sounded like an escalation from the Speaker. Well, David, for months, the speaker has been walking this very fine line here, but now we are seeing a notable shift. The speaker didn't even mention the word impeachment, but David, she didn't have to. It is clear she's suggesting this is now a possibility. David. Mary Bruce, live in Washington. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.